You heard it here first on Scoop Canada, Alberta Premier Danielle Smith has made headlines once again, this time addressing the question of whether Alberta would be willing to accept asylum seekers from Quebec. With the Legault government attempting to transfer these individuals to other provinces, Smith's response highlights ongoing tensions and dissatisfaction with Trudeau's Liberal government. When asked about the possibility, Smith didn't mince words. She clearly indicated that Alberta has its own challenges to deal with and cannot simply take on the burden that Quebec and the federal government are trying to offload. It's a clear reflection of the frustrations many provincial leaders have with Ottawa's handling of immigration and asylum policies. Trudeau's government has been criticized for its lack of a cohesive, effective plan to manage asylum seekers. Instead of working collaboratively with provinces, the Liberals seem more intent on pushing problems around like pieces on a chessboard. It's no wonder that provinces like Alberta are pushing back. Uh, is now the destination for 22% of newcomers to Canada, even though we're only 12% of the population. So I would say that uh, both Quebec and Alberta share an interest in having the federal government support those asylum seekers so that we can provide the social services, provide the integration, provide the language training. And um, you know, I've watched that uh, Minister, uh, the Premier Legault has had some success in getting the federal government to meet his commitment. We would like them to meet the same commitment in Alberta. Smith's stance is not just about the logistics of accepting more people, it's a pointed critique of federal mismanagement. The Liberals have consistently failed to provide adequate resources or support to provinces dealing with the influx of asylum seekers. By trying to pass the buck to Alberta, Trudeau's government is once again showing its inability to handle the situation responsibly. Moreover, this isn't the first time Trudeau's policies have put undue pressure on provincial governments, from healthcare to housing, and now immigration. The federal government's approach has often been to offload responsibilities without the necessary support or consultation. It's a pattern that's wearing thin and leaders like Smith are right to call it out. Alberta, like many provinces, is dealing with its own set of economic and social challenges. The carbon tax, rising living costs, and infrastructure demands are already stretching provincial resources thin. Adding the additional responsibility of managing asylum seekers without federal support would only exacerbate these issues. Smith's refusal to accept Quebec's asylum seekers is a stance rooted in practicality and fairness. Why should Alberta, or any province for that matter, have to shoulder the consequences of federal and Quebec policy failures? It's a question that more and more Canadians are beginning to ask as they see the strain on their local systems. This situation also underscores a broader issue with Trudeau's leadership. The Prime Minister's tendency to make grand promises without following through with practical solutions is creating fractures across the country. Provinces are left to deal with the fallout, and it's the citizens who suffer the most. Danielle Smith's response is a wake-up call. It's time for the federal government to stop shifting responsibilities and start addressing the root causes of these issues. Comprehensive, cooperative solutions are needed, not quick fixes that only serve to push problems from one province to another. Trudeau's liberals need to take a hard look at their policies and their impacts on provinces like Alberta. If they continue on this path, the divisions and frustrations will only grow. Canadians deserve a government that works with them, not against them, and it's high time Ottawa started listening. Premier Danielle Smith has made it clear that Alberta is not in a position to take in asylum seekers from Quebec at this time. When asked by reporters on Tuesday if Alberta would be willing to accept some of the asylum seekers, Smith didn't hold back. We're experiencing a similar type of pressure that the federal government has to align the number of people coming into the country with the capacity of our system to be able to support it, she said. And she's absolutely right. Whether it's building homes, providing health care, or ensuring quality education, Alberta, like many provinces, is already stretched thin. The Trudeau government's lack of foresight and planning has put provincial systems under immense strain. Instead of working with provinces to create sustainable solutions, Trudeau seems content to push problems around, leaving local governments to pick up the pieces. Smith's comments highlight a critical issue, the federal government's inability to manage immigration and asylum seeker policies effectively. This isn't just about Alberta or Quebec, it's about the entire country feeling the impact of Ottawa's poor planning. Trudeau's liberals continue to make grand promises without providing the necessary support to provincial systems and it's the citizens who are paying the price. Before we move further, discover our exclusive collection of mugs, hoodies, and a variety of daily accessories designed for Canada Conservative Party supporters. Show your pride with our conservative theme products at affordable prices. Enjoy free delivery across Canada. Let's not forget, 
the pressures Smith is talking about are real and significant. The housing market is already struggling, healthcare systems are overwhelmed, and educational institutions are under-resourced. Adding more people to this mix without a concrete plan or additional resources would only exacerbate these problems. Trudeau's approach to immigration seems to be more about optics than substance. The government appears eager to welcome people to Canada, but fails to ensure that provinces have the infrastructure and resources needed to support them. This kind of short-sighted policymaking is exactly why leaders like Smith are pushing back. And it's not just Alberta. Across the country, provinces are feeling the strain of federal mismanagement. From the carbon tax to healthcare funding, Trudeau's policies are creating more problems than they're solving. Smith's stance is a call for practical, fair solutions that don't leave provinces in the lurch. The federal government needs to get its act together. It's not enough to simply open the doors and hope for the best. There needs to be a coordinated, well-funded plan that ensures new arrivals can be adequately supported without overwhelming existing systems. Trudeau's liberals have shown time and again that they're more interested in making headlines than doing the hard work of governing. Smith's comments are a wake-up call. It's time for the federal government to stop passing the buck and start taking responsibility. The provinces can't do it all on their own, and it's unfair to expect them to. Canadians deserve a government that works collaboratively with all levels of government to create sustainable, effective policies. You heard it right, folks. Premier Danielle Smith just congratulated the Calgary Stampede for smashing attendance records with a whopping 1,477,953 attendees this year. That's right, nearly 1.5 million people came together to celebrate this incredible event, proving once again why it's called the greatest outdoor show on earth. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate the sheer scale and success of this event. It's a testament to the hard work, dedication, and passion of everyone involved, from the organizers to the attendees. Despite the challenges we face, Albertans have shown that we can still come together and create something truly spectacular. This is the kind of community spirit and success story that Trudeau's government should take note of. Instead of imposing more taxes and regulations that stifle growth and innovation, they should look at how events like the Calgary Stampede thrive on community effort and local support. Trudeau's policies have often overlooked the potential and needs of local communities, focusing instead on broad, one-size-fits-all solutions that don't always work. Also, take a minute to visit our website, sign the petition demanding Justin Trudeau leave the office immediately, and sign up for our newsletters to get uncensored news in Canadian politics. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates. But here in Alberta, we know how to get things done. We know how to bring people together and create something amazing. And as Premier Smith said, we'll see you next year. Stampede. Let's keep this incredible momentum going and continue to show the rest of the country what true community spirit looks like. So while Trudeau and his government continue to make headlines for all the wrong reasons, let's celebrate the success stories happening right here in our backyard. The Calgary Stampede's record-breaking attendance is a shining example of what we can achieve when we work together, and it's something we should all be proud of. Here's to another fantastic year and many more to come.